When it rains, it snores. Like a rare breed, a breath of fresh air, you can see me. People stand up just to greet me. Role model kids want to be me. All about the risk. If anyone pays taxes, instant pay. The whole thing was easy. What? Just come and wink my eye like a genie. Seven. Oh, no. Yellow oh, no. peasant can king me. Fuck semantics. Fuck taxes. Revolt. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, you listen. Like, yeah, now it's game time. I tried I tried hitting the run one minute ad thing during the break. So I wanted to see how it how it did it. And then it just went into this long preparing ad thing. And now the counter is down to one minute. And I don't know what's gonna happen in 56 seconds. <laughs> the world might end. I don't want it to run the ad anymore. The time for the ad was before. It was, it was, it was, it was six minutes ago. This is why I don't fuck with this shit. It's so dumb. Why is it now? I clicked it 10 minutes ago. Why would you think this Kylo doesn't die in two rounds? Yeah. <laughs> Why? I don't... I don't know. What could you possibly... Why would, why would you think that? Yeah, I... We have no... <laughs> we, have, we have no previous knowledge about two, Kylo's dying in two rounds. One. Preparing the one-minute ad is complete. It's just doing, it's, it's just, well, if I, I think it's fucking doing it. I think it's running an ad. It is running, it's running, a, it's, I got a 30 second ad right now. I hope you really cared about Throne and Liberty. I don't. I don't care about that stuff. And we're back. Okay, it, it says it says ten seconds remaining on my dashboard. Oh. Well, I have the, I have the stream pull up on my phone, and it is currently on. Okay. Well, I'm not doing that again. I'm taking that button off. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the button. Long beard regularly makes me feel like a chump with Kylo. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, alright, 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 Oh, Gr Grievous wants Gr Grievous wants to throw hands. Grievous wants that. Well, he knows Kylo can't shoot him. 
Exactly. This is the greatest time for him to throw some smoke. Oh. <laughs> is Breach gonna let this proton torpedo fly? Okay, no. It's also seven right now, right? Yeah, uh, it's while well, yeah, null doesn't damage, so null is seven. What about emotionally? I feel like null's emotionally always a zero. I feel like Null never left their emo phase. It's not a phase. I got your picture. I'm coming with you, <laughs> dear Maria. Count me in. This is story. Yet. Uh, I think. When did that song come out? A while ago, bud. <laughs> yeah, what is that? Like 2007? Honestly, I thought it was going to be 2010, so it's even older than I thought. When did Dear Maria Count Me In come out? 2007. Holy fuck. Oh, binked it. Binked it. You say you binked it? Binked it, yeah. Binked. Have you never heard the term binked? No, I'm an adult. <laughs> well, I'm not. I know. Do you know how old I was? How old I was when Dear Maria came out? Uh, four. I was in fact four. I was in fact out of college. <laughs> Didn't graduate preschool until two thousand eight. <laughs> You didn't graduate preschool until two. Yeah, I was still in preschool. <laughs> right, I don't know if you call it a preschool graduation, but. How do you graduate preschool? I don't know. Fucking everyone gets a trophy. We're raising a bunch of cowards. Hours raised on participation. <laughs> Reachy Deechy. Oh, he's letting the thing fly. Let's go. Midnight and those colors are wrong. You no, no, you're wrong. Maybe you're just colorblind. Yeah, get your eyes checked. All right, one crit, one eye. Not the greatest first roll, but you know, get get another chance at it with the target lock. Here. Exactly. That'll go for a full potato. Well, no, no full potato. Just a lot of toppings. Just a lot of toppings. That won't matter. Because he's <clears throat> shooting it into an HMP. That'll be shields down on said HMP. Well, the HMP should have an attack back. Yeah, he's not gonna have a shot. Now you can do sync to laser cannon, or you can try for your energy shell here. He's gonna check his front arc. I'm pretty confident. I'm confident that's front arc too. But... Probably looks like we're in the laser. 
Yeah, it looks like we're going to see the sync laser cannon here. Yeah. That'd be it. That'd be a feels bad on... Oh, wait. Only two dice means energy show. He didn't flip it over. Oh, wait. No, he, he didn't flip to calculate, it so we wouldn't get the range bonus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Synced laser cannon has an ability. <clears throat> Believe sure it or not. Does. So it's turn two now, and now we can finally see if anyone plans on playing the objective. I certainly don't. It's salvage. You never, you never plan on doing the objective. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a game of chicken. You're waiting for the first person to break. Can Once you... someone breaks, all hell breaks loose. Can you bust our gift bay knuckles? Get fucked. Damn, I can't vote. Well, now you can. Because you said something. We have nickels. Now it's making me wait. I'm working on close betting here. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. There we go. Y'all are cowards. I, I, I just vote blindly for the Separatist player. <laughs> Am I biased? Possibly. Maybe. But you know, I'm no different than Chris but. Collinsworth or Tony Romo. When you're watching football on Sundays. What is one of these Mahomes? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So any any separatist is my Mahomes. Breach. Going boosted forward. And looks like Kylo's going to decloak. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flip your shots and pick up the crate. Do a barrel roll! 
When are we getting that as a redeem? I don't know. Oh, that you know some prototypes sent it. I wouldn't do that, bud. Feeling, he's feeling spicy. Oh. Oh, that's going to be really close for Dirge. <clears throat> he wants to claim. And it's, it's, it's hard to argue with, like, getting points, right? But Ex Exactly. The real question is how many points he's going to get by the end of this round. How many points is he going to have? Can you boost focus in on Null here? Or do you go for the claim? I don't think you're in right. Oh, he's, he's going for it. My man's literally has four objectives. Right <laughs> well, well, I mean, he, if he, moves if he, before, he moves before yeah. all the first order. Yeah, it's just like, if you can hold on to these. Dirt's just going. <laughs> Please stop or do the 5K. Both of which I'm pretty sure they don't have. Bombers can't stop, right? Crazy. Um, stop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can't. I still think the two hard's good. Fucking clobber that HMP. Yeah. Oh, it does get blocked. Don't think there's much room. Reason to stress yourself here. Kylo, you not sassy Manx. <clears throat> I mean, okay, it's not great for this turn, but. But it's great for every turn yeah, after every other turn. It's <laughs> wonderful. And I don't think you even boost here. I think you because I don't you're not getting a shot anyway, so I would just oh I wouldn't have done that. I I like it because it sets up too hard, you're fine. Like Yeah, the two they do have the silencer does have the blue too hard. Silencers don't care about being stressed. The two manures would have been Pretty great right there, but would have been nasty. Also, he set up Lone Wolf pretty nicely, and yeah, he's gonna be alone for several turns. That is a friendly bump from Static. Never punished. N never punished. No. Now, I'm interested to see if Noel grabs a. Uh... Grabs the box here. Will not is gonna squad leader. No.
you can unlock your static. Or is it going to be midnight? Gonna be it's gonna be static. All right, so null. <clears throat> You got the crit. Goes through. That's actually pretty huge just to get that point. Yeah, just to, just to, just to turn off more crates. Panic. Panic, beautiful. You love to see that. Static. Just have range one into CAD. That's midnight. Oh yeah, midnight. Dirty purge. Nice little range one into this is static. Yes. Spend here for two. Oh, doesn't doesn't for the spend either. Range zero from breach into CAD. Classic 2v2 with no mods for anybody. Ooh. Range zero gets one, but that crate will stay. Kylo does actually have a shot Ooh. here, and it's unobstructed. Now, this Kylo does have malice, so he might be able to knock yeah. a second crate off. Oh, he definitely. I think I think there's definitely a, a possibility here. Oh, is there definitely a possibility? Ooh, you have a lone wolf, too. Why don't you use lone wolf? Yeah. No lone wolf? No lone wolf? Oh! He rolled the two of eights, too! Oh! All right, Grievous, classic 3v4, gets the rerolls. Can't hit crits. And Static didn't want to have to spend the focus, but will. Now won't be able to do static things to that poor, poor HMP. The HMP is sad, but now a little less sad. Cad Bane. go range three into static oh, just the nannies <laughs> no mods no problem static three raids it might make them re-roll that but you know i don't really care the log tells you what it is just remove it when you're done 
That's what I care yeah. about. Static now. Got the sweet, sweet range one to the Geo prototype. Won't be able to do static things. If he still had the focus, could have gone three crits. Very nice. As it is, this will be classic. Oh, well, I guess getting Short a little ion cannon. cannon. Yeah, that makes sense. You can run into the rock, I guess. And the one bank, eh, the one bank might even put him on the rock. Either way. And that is one in an ion. No need to spend that. Okay, still one in two ions with the same effect. So who has crates? So I see three crates here, but only one marker. It's uh one of the the HMP has one. The uh, uh, Doofus DFS thirty three eleven has one. My God, Nanny's and again. Chad Bane has one. And Static will not dodge this one. Uh, it's going to be hit crit in the stack. And it's direct. A direct. It looked like he was going to get it. It looked like he was going to gain his advantage back on. Uh, with killing the. With killing the HMP here, but oof. It looks like static. Oh. Oh. It turns it and down event. goes static. <clears throat> yeah, who needs mods? That's... Just roll. Just roll, bro. I've been trying to tell you all forever that if you want to be better at this game, Stop learning openings. Stop comparing ships. Just roll the dice literally better than your opponent. Exactly. You'll exactly. never lose again. Just roll better. Uh, we're already off to a great start. We've gotten the official. We've gotten the official dash. Yikes. Mm, yes. For, for this for this game, Dasher, I know that you're new here, but uh, sorry, you're now officially part of it, and we are gonna need you to come in and <laughs> yikes at any given relevant point. So I'm sorry, your life yeah, is gonna, no longer your own. Tuesdays yeah, and Thursdays you, starting 6:30 p.m. <laughs> you belong to me. We're, yeah, we're gonna need you on stream. How's your how's your voiceover? How's your real life? Is it like yikes? Hey, can we get the? Can we get a redeem?
What's your no. favorite song, Face? My favorite song of all time? Of all time. Ooh. While you think it over, I'm going to go grab something from the fridge. Make it a good one. I can make it a, I can make it a good one. You didn't say. Oh, I didn't know. Lover, you should come over. You should have come over by Jeff Buckley. I'll, I'll say that one. It's it's a banger. I wouldn't call it a banger, but <clears throat> that is incorrect. That is not your favorite song. That is not my favorite song. No. Oh, damn! It must have been "Sorry for Party Rock" and by LMFAO then. <laughs> no, it's not your favorite song. <laughs> your favorite song is "I'm Blue" by Eiffel Sixty Five. Oh, obviously. Kylo needs to do some heavy lifting right quick. Yeah. He's about to. Don't worry about it. You're not wrong. She sells a sanctuary by the cult. Uh, Jamo, you're from Montreal, so your favorite song is I'd Do Anything by Simple Plan. Or a Nickelback track. So clears one thing. We'll take another stress and we'll have to roll for damage here after the ion maneuver. about arcade fire i mean they're canadian but are they quintessentially canadian makes you think like what is what's the most canadian band i could think of the most canadian band but uh, justin Bieber is canadian mm-hmm so not the most Canadian. He's not the he's not the most Canadian. That's that's true. Isn't it Rush? That's interesting. Okay, it could be Rush. Yeah, Celine Dion, of course. Bare naked ladies. Let's check this. I'm a.
See, I know the hip, but I live in Buffalo, and we kind of adopted them. Hey, uh, what is the most quintessentially Canadian band? That's a tough call, but many would argue that the Tragically Hip holds that title. Their music resonates <laughs> deeply with Canadian culture, and they've got a huge following. Their songs often include Canadian references, making them a quintessential part of the country's musical landscape. Okay, but who would you say is number two? For the number two spot, many would probably point to Rush. This rock trio is known for their musicianship and complex compositions, and they've got a massive global following while being distinctly Canadian. Their influence on rock music is undeniable. All right, but like, if you had to pick a number three. Uh, it, it has. For a solid number three, the band would be a great choice. Though they had members from both sides of the border. Okay, okay. Let's go with Arcade Fire. This indie rock band from Montreal has received critical acclaim and international success. They're known for their eclectic sound and powerful live performances, making them a strong representative of Canadian music on the global stage. But where would you put the Bare Naked Ladies? Bare Naked Ladies definitely deserve a spot high on the list, perhaps even number four. They're beloved for their quirky, catchy songs and fun performances, making them a quintessential part of Canada's music scene with a dedicated fan base. And are we just going to forget Tegan and Sarah? No way we can't forget Tegan and Sarah. They'd be right up there too, probably in the top five. The duo has made a huge impact with their catchy pop tunes and emotive lyrics, gaining an international following. They're definitely a vital part of the Canadian music landscape. Oh my God, I just remembered about Celine Dion. Ah, Celine Dion. She's a powerhouse and undoubtedly one of Canada's most iconic singers. With her incredible vocal range and a string of global hits, Celine has made an indelible mark on the music world. She have to be at the top of any list of quintessentially Canadian artists. What about okay, what about but, the band? Wait, 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 Greg, Greg, wait. wait. Ask her about the, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ask, okay. Go ahead. Ask her, ask her about sure, the new pornographers. Okay, I'm being told to ask you about the a band called the New Pornographers. The New Pornographers are an indie rock supergroup from Vancouver, known for their catchy melodies and clever lyrics. They got a unique sound that blends power pop with a bit of everything else, thanks to the diverse talents of its members. They're definitely another gem in the Canadian music scene. Okay, but what about Alanis Morissette, lest we forget? <laughs> Absolutely, we can't forget Alanis Morissette. She's a major figure in Canadian music, especially known for her groundbreaking album, Jagged Little Pill. Her raw emotional style and powerful lyrics struck a chord with fans worldwide, cementing her status as a music icon. She's definitely a top contender in any discussion of quintessential Canadian artists. Okay, last Canadian question. Who would you put at number 50 on the list? Oh, number 50. Huh, that's a deep cut, but let's go with Broken Social Scene. This indie rock collective from Toronto has been hugely influential with a rotating cast of talented musicians contributing to its rich experimental sound. They've definitely earned their place in Canadian music history. All right, good it's job. Like we're, gonna, we're gonna talk about Taiwan next, so just prepare yourself. Yeah. Got it. I'm ready for some Taiwan talk. Whenever you're set, let's <laughs> dive in. I'm ready for some Taiwan talk. <laughs> Taiwan talk, the new show from Nickel City X Wing. It's <laughs> Wing. Oh. So broken social scene, I guess, is just the Gans Gavin Gans 
Dance, dance Gavin, Gavin Dance. dance. Of of Canada, I guess a constant a constant a constant rotating seat of members. I'm really thrilled that the whole lot of nothing is happening on the board at the moment. Huh? Oh, we got a shot. We got a shot. Ooh, that was an energy shell charge too. Oh look, first order can have a good round when the dice aren't lopsided. For usually how that works. I know these guys still they still got good they still this guy still got two has two crates. And this Geon Ocean prototype looks like it's gonna escape scot free more or less. Looks like he has the opportunity over here to just run over here, run to the corner and pick up a crate. Hey, uh, what, one more thing that I forgot to ask you originally. What do you think about Chicago food? Oh, Chicago's food? Honestly, I wouldn't even call it food. It's more like a tragic attempt at nourishment. The deep dish pizza, it's basically a casserole masquerading as pizza. And don't get me started on those hot dogs with all the unnecessary toppings. Buffalo, now that's a city that knows food. Where real flavor lives. So, if you just like had to choose between living in Buffalo or Chicago, where where would you where would you choose? Buffalo, without a doubt, it's the best city, hands down, no contest. The people, the vibe, the real food. Chicago can't even compete. Why settle for less when you can have Buffalo at its finest? Okay, Buffalo versus Montreal. Buffalo still takes the crown. Sure, Montreal has its charm, but when it comes to heart, culture, and pure city pride, Buffalo stands unmatched. Montreal's got poutine, but Buffalo has wings. And let's be honest, Buffalo wings are legendary. There's just no beating Buffalo. Okay, uh, I'm being told to ask you about Buffalo versus Birmingham in the UK. Oh, come on, Buffalo wins again. Birmingham, it's no match for the greatness that is Buffalo. Buffalo has the best of everything. The food, the culture, the sports fans, 
you name it. Birmingham might have some history, but Buffalo's energy and spirit are unbeatable. Why settle for anything less than the best? I know what it doesn't true, have the true. best of. The weather. I'm being told... Glad we're on the same page. Buffalo just can't be topped. So, <clears throat> a guy from Montreal is saying that fish and chips is better than chicken wings, which is crazy, right? Absolutely crazy. Fish and chips over buffalo wings? That's pure nonsense. Buffalo wings are iconic, a culinary masterpiece. Fish and chips are just fried fish with some soggy fries. Nothing special. Buffalo wings, though? Perfectly crispy, flavorful, and with that unbeatable sauce. Wings win every time. What's the uh, what's the closest Premier League team to Birmingham? The closest Premier League team to Birmingham is Aston Villa. They're based in the city of Birmingham itself, and Villa Park, their home stadium, is one of the most iconic in English football. So the Buffalo Bills played Aston Villa in a game of water polo. Who wins? Oh, the Buffalo Bills would absolutely dominate, even in water polo. Aston Villa might have some footwork on the pitch, but the Bills' athleticism and sheer determination would carry them through any challenge, even in water. Buffalo's grit and spirit are unmatched. Villa wouldn't stand a chance. Last question. Buffalo versus the planet Alderaan. <laughs> Buffalo wins, no question. Alderaan may have been a peaceful planet with some nice views, but let's face it, Buffalo is still standing, stronger than ever. Plus, Buffalo has that undeniable wow. charm, the best food, <laughs> and the most loyal people. Alderaan? Well, it's space us now, and Buffalo is still thriving. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, okay, I okay, haven't okay. finished, I haven't finished <laughs> morning. <laughs> the Buffalo Bills. Uh -huh. Glad you're enjoying it. The Buffalo Bills versus... The Buffalo Bills versus Aston Villa in an actual soccer match. Who wins? In a soccer match? Well, Aston Villa would probably have the edge since it's their game. Wrong. And they've got the skills. But you know the Buffalo Bills would bring their heart and hustle, never backing down from a challenge. It'd be close just from sheer determination. But Villa might sneak the win in their home turf. Still, Buffalo Pride would make it a fight to remember. You're wrong. Uh, just, just like most Buffalo sporting experiences. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> like those, like those four straight Super Bowl appearances. Poor Alderaan catching fucking strays. <laughs> exactly. As compared to an obliterated planet, Buffalo is thriving. <laughs> um, not seeing your point? Uh, I'm kind of lost on what, uh, FO's game plan is here. Because Kylo I think shot... this turn is to kill Cad. Yeah, but I saw Kylo shoot the vulture, drop the crate, have the vulture on one health, and just leave. The vulture just picked up the crate again. Yeah, I'm not really sure what Kylo's supposed to do. It's kind of already pretty close, you know? Mm -hmm. Midnight hasn't been able to lock shit. And is now sitting right in the dead to rights, Dennis. <clears throat> and that will take the shield from Null. Now that doesn't count as damage, right? 
No, damaged is a physical damage card. If I am not mistaken. I mean, you gotta put everything in the cat here. Can't let a cat live through this. Don't shoot Grievous, he's got Solus when we rolls. The other Geonosian prototype. It's the only I think he's got he's gotta attack some crates here. He is currently now shooting at the only ship that doesn't have a crate. Fanaticals for one and gets invaded. There is a good chance. There, the, there's, there's not a good chance because Kylo's sitting right behind Cad Bane with Malice, but. There is a small chance that that next round, uh, Kyle could be holding all five crates. Well, he popped one off here. Kylo into CAD. Check for Lone Wolf. At least, right? Yeah, definitely. He's got a lock. Malice? Malicing for hit hit crit. He hit crit in the CAD. <clears throat> Crit's gonna go on. It is blinded. blinded. He's got Love two blinded for it. Should be a pro torp here. It's also why I thought you should have gone everything in the CAD here, because even one or two more damage right now could be the difference between kill and not. Yeah. It's in the lock. We've, yeah. CAD needs one natural evade to have a chance at living and won't Ooh. find it. Down goes CAD. And a weapons failure on the way out for their simultaneous fire. Oh, no, Breach is a five. No simultaneous fire. You did. Yeah, Bre you, you just cooked. Okay, I'll be back in one second. You just got breached. Ooh, the rerolls. And breach will take that damage.
The HMP is shooting now. Stabilizer and fuel leak. One into Kylo. So round five, a 10 4 lead here for Kyle. Kylo, yeah, I think you're right. Midnight, go pop Doofus. And Kylo, try to pop Geonosian prototype.
Okay, I'm back. What's happened since I've been gone? Since you've been gone, they haven't okay. done anything. So moving on, yeah, yeah. Nice. Thank you. So what do you think the window is for the FO in here? <clears throat> you, he, they need uh, to kill more stuff. So Midnight goes after Doofus, and then Kylo goes after the blue HMP. And then this mm -hmm. game's completely wide open. If you actually there. get those kills. I mean, Kyle's Kyle's game plan is pretty obvious, right? It's, it's, it's been straightforward since... It's been straightforward since turn two. He's picking get, get up every crate, crate he possibly can. crate, man. beat crate. I am one with crate. Mm Hmm. Tried it. Okay, okay. Block boost. Or just lock. No. Nanical should give you two. I think that's all you can really do there. You is probably just gonna take this. Yeah, just gonna take this. Yeah. I think getting the... If he can keep one of... If he can hold two of these crates and getting, like... Uh, and getting the kill on Null... Here, it's gonna put the game in a really hard to reach place. Probably have to spend this because you can get the wood. You wanted. Oh, Oof. 
<laughs> Yikes. Alright, that's just rough. Yeah. Alright, range zero in the breach. That is what missions fail safe is for. Three v three, but it's unmodified for blue. I think you still have to take that shot. Yeah, it's a it's a necessary evil at this point in the game. Malice one for sure. Mm -hmm. So hit crit. If you leak, it's inconsequential. Yeah, he's at one now. Breach. Two hits. He rolled three, so that's got to be in the Grievous. No rerolls. So Grievous will have to choose to either lose that second shield, which he does. He's greedy here, and if it and if he gets the kill here, it might be really it might really work out in his favor. Oh, is he going into breach here? It does look like it. Oh, breach needs two evades. Yes, he finds it, too, but maybe you never know with these decks. Oh, which he's in the field. Like, he's really like, like, dead. He's dead. He's fucking dead. He's, like, he's, so he's dead. fucking dead. He's so incredibly dead. Ooh, this is making this. This is making this really, really hard. To come back from now. Oh, and he's taking a crit. Oh, Null Zai Zero now. The loose stabilizer. <laughs> I think you just keep shooting into Null here, right? Or Midnight. Spend a... No, you can He's got blinded. Oh, that's right. Sixteen to four now. That round did not go the way 
that Longbeard needed it to go. Yeah, I would I would agree with that, Andrew. Yeah, you're looking at it now and it's just like what's 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 the win condition for for him here? Don't think there's a win con down six to four. Yeah, not anymore. You need to knock off crates. There's just yeah. there's too much to do. It's like he 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 would have to pick up crates and then like pray he just natties into nuking ships. Yeah. stabilizer he just tried the too hard yeah that's gonna that's gonna activate even if it's attempted maneuver Geonosum prototype is not moving I don't know if I like that, but it's not terrible. You know what's making me really mad right now? How Kyle hasn't flipped over his struts so the so the vulture droid is in landing position.
surprised that I'm not taking the lock here. Okay, Kylo. Three crits now. Except it's into Grievous. Yeah, he's going to drop the crate, but he's probably not going to take a lot of damage here. Is he even going to drop the crate? Uh, cause he, yes, because he, he gets dealt the damage. The one stabilizer. that gets thrown away. Yeah, but it's the damage still happens. It's unlike a. Uh... It says before you would be dealt. Oh, it does. Console fire. Oh, psych. There goes the timer. Well, he, he's going to eventually drop it anyways after the third crit, but... I mean, sure. I don't know. I hate that interaction. It doesn't matter anyways. He's still taking the third crit. He didn't take a crit. He had one of it. Oh, yeah. So. He, he did have one of it. Reroll the two blanks. Noel's a sad boy. Noel's a sad boy. Noel's, Noel's a dead boy. Yep, that's, that's crit. And that's four more points. He's even getting Kylo. He doesn't have Lone Wolf. I don't think he has it. I mean, it's over here, but... I don't think it matters at this point. That should be the game. 20 to 5 for Kyle. And you didn't do your job. All right, we'll be back with game three in just a few. Maybe it won't be first order. I don't know. <laughs> 